You got a dream, you got to protect it. People can't do something themselves, and they want to tell you you can't do it. You want something, go get it. Period. So I like it, man. Only one in the parking lot. Christmas morning. What's up, y'all? Uh, hopefully, I don't get any copyright strike. I like the gym right now, as y'all know. Got music playing in the background. Hopefully, nothing happens. But it's. Alright, watch. It's two something in the morning right now. Merry Christmas. I'm mostly gonna upload some Christmas Day. Right now it's Christmas. My family had a Christmas party on Christmas Eve. Uh, because my brother and his fam are going, well, yeah, they're going on a trip, leaving on Christmas, so we did that a day early. Uh, even though I ate that food, I still hit the gym, you know. Um, and I didn't need to come in here and work out because I had stuff in my mind, you know, and when I came here, right, when I first got here, I got discouraged because there were some cars, like, there was a bunch of cars here in the parking lot, and I was like, yo, it's gonna be packed, right, I was like, I don't know if I still want to work out, but I told myself, I said, no matter what, I'm gonna go, all right, came inside, I had to wait a little bit to get a bench, right, the bench that I could adjust, got one I got like a quarter way to my workout the gym's empty you know what I'm saying like, I can show y'all <clears throat> gym is really empty right now back there where the bathrooms are it has a motion light and the lights off right now meaning nobody passed through there so it's empty it's gonna pass 30 minutes or so but <clears throat> what I want to talk about man I was, I had to my mind, you know, because, y'all know I'm completely really honest with y'all when it comes to this channel, right? Ever since I first started, I kind of went back, put myself back out there, you know, when it comes to dating and stuff like that, put myself out there, I went back on the apps, right? And, granted, right? We only need one, right? God has that way for everybody, and we only need one, right? So, so far, I mean, I got back on that Thursday. Today's day Monday, right? Got back on that Thursday, and to this day, I, I haven't I had the counter in my uh, the app, like stuff like that for the messages. There's been about a little over. 30 women that I matched without my side and I messaged them either they didn't respond to the initial message or we talked for a little bit and they stopped responding right other than that I matched women that weren't my type and has unmatched me you know what I'm saying I don't, I don't leave them hanging out leave them, I don't leave them astray by leaving the message there I uh, I unmatched, you know what I'm saying? So they can move on to find find their person, you know. But I was thinking about it now, I was thinking about I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I struggled, I relapsed yesterday, right? And I'm gonna explain what kind of lesson, right? At the end of it was me, but I'm gonna explain what my mind was thinking at the time, right? So when it comes to pertaining and celibacy, I'm doing it for God, right? I'm doing it for God. God first, me second, wife, family, third, right? And I got back on the apps, and you know, when I came, before I got back on the apps, right? I got new photos taken. I, I had a photography session done. I would do my bio. I'm saying, did a re revamp my profiles. And I was like, okay. Feeling good, get back on it, you know. Went through a good amount of time, lust free. You know, mom was clear, 
I'm feeling good, all right? That's all right, it's time to go back to naps. Prayed about it, real good. And, yeah, man, things, things weren't really blinking. Things weren't what I was expecting them to be, you know? Obviously, I ain't supposed to meet someone right away, right? But it got to a point where I was like, yo, like, this, this is what the enemy makes you think, right? And right now I'm just venting, right? Because this stuff I had, right? And I'm pretty sure after I make this video, I'm gonna be feeling better afterwards, but I had to get it out, right? When I, before I relapsed, right? But I started getting urges. It was like, yo, I'm doing this, right? Besides for God and my, myself, I'm doing this for my future wife, future family, right? In my head, I'm like, yo, all this stuff's happening, right? Whether it's in the apps, in person, stuff like that, like nothing's, nothing's formulated, right? So I'm like, why am I, this is what I'm thinking, right? I'm like, what's the point? What's the point of retaining when I feel like God's only has someone, right? It sounds dumb saying it out loud, but this is what I was thinking at the time. I was like, God doesn't want me to have some money because, you know, things like that, right? No, no, right? So I realized, of course, I regret it afterwards, right? And it wasn't even, it wasn't even one of those cases where, you know, it wasn't even one of those cases where I was super, super, super horny, crazy urge. I'm like, yo, I can't, like, what do you like that? I even, I, the urge wasn't even that strong. It was just a, it was just a, what's the point, you know? But that happened. And today, right before I came, to, actually, I was driving. I was driving here, right? I was on the highway. And I was thinking about Florida, right? Actually, no, no, no. It was a mix of when I was driving here and a mix of when I was in the middle of my workout, right? I was sitting there, they my Florida, right? They my Florida, how I was in Florida. And because I was thinking about how much, you know what I'm saying? I had to mature, how fast I had to mature. For those of y'all who were here during that time, y'all know why I had to mature fast, you know? This might be done right now, so I'll continue this video in the truck. All right, y'all, so now I'm in the truck. Go ahead and turn this down a little bit, the heat. Uh, so yeah, right before I get to what I was saying before, man. Um, put these on. I wear glass while I'm driving because it helps me see a little better. I can drive without them, obviously, but you know I prefer to wear them when I'm driving, especially at night. But yeah, man. You know I have I have a type. You know what I'm saying? I have a type. I have. You know, you have that ideal woman in your head, right? That you want physically, things like that, right? And you shouldn't compensate, you know what I'm saying? You shouldn't compensate just because someone is cute, you know what I'm saying? If they're not your type 100%, do not do it, you know? It's not fair to you, it's not fair to them, you know what I'm saying? Because they might, you might be a type 100% and they might be like 80%, you know? It's like, you know, it's just not fair to them, but... Like I was saying, man. So when I was in Florida, for those y'all who were there at the time, you know, um, y'all know what was going on. You know, uh, my mom had. To, I, I I made a I think a live stream called the story of. I think it was the story of Prophet Aaron or something, something like that. I did a, uh, like a two hour live talking about it, but now I'm not gonna go into a whole spiel about it. But you know, T T L D R. Um, you know, my mom went down there to start her group home, you know, to take care of, you know, pe uh, people with disabilities, stuff like that. And when she first got down there, my mom, uh, when she first got down there, you know, it was a couple months before I actually moved to Florida, I was still in Jersey. Um, she worked with my aunt, you know, while she, my mom was getting her stuff ready. My aunt was not the best, still to this day, you know what I'm saying? I'm not the best woman, did not treat her well, did not, you know what I'm saying, the conditions weren't the best. Um, you know what I'm saying? So when I went down there, 
I had to step up, you know, because my dad, he was still had his job up here, so he couldn't, you know what I'm saying, be done and stuff like that. I had to step up, you know what I'm saying? I had to make sure my mom ate because there were times where, like, she wouldn't want to eat, and I had to, like, kind of, like, buy food, even though she said she was not going to buy food, make sure she ate. Um, there were times where the group home funds weren't covering certain groceries and I had a job so I had to you know what I'm saying pitch in and stuff like that I had to you know when I was working at Taco Bell and Culver's you know when there was like extra food like some people did order and didn't want anymore or you know there were times where specifically Taco Bell you know when when we were leaving you know well back well when we had lunch we had a break and when we were leaving you know we were able to ask one of our co-workers to make us something you know what i'm saying so i used to take advantage of those and you know bring home food you know for my mom like for the most part i would do it for my mom you know what i'm saying like of course if i had a good amount of food bring them home i would i would have some too but it was my mom that i was getting the for and stuff like that but pretty much i had to step up you know what i'm saying and there were times my mom felt like giving up in a lot of ways, in a lot of ways, and you know, I had to, I had to stay strong. You know I'm saying I had to stay strong for her, for myself, you know, especially what was going on with school. You know, what was going on with school, uh, the last half of the school year, you know, with the the friend group and stuff like that. Like, I was going through my, I was going through my own stuff. You know, I was going through my own stuff there. My, I, I never saw my mom. I didn't tell my mom about it until we came back. We moved back to Jersey, and it was like a couple years into my college life. I told her about it. But that whole time, I did not tell her anything about it. I was like, you know what I'm saying? So, when people, when people would tell me, like, when I was, when I came up back up here, people would tell me, like, oh, you're like, you're so mature. That's why, you know what I'm saying? I had to mature. Um, I hope I was at 17. When I left Florida, I was 18, but when I was starting school, I was uh, 17, you know what I'm saying? So during that whole period, that was definitely, I would say my peak period. And I was thinking about this as I was working out, you know, during my uh, my little rest period, I was thinking about it. Um, during that time, you know, that was my peak spiritually. You know, I would literally, I would literally uh, pray twice a day. You know what I'm saying? I would literally, I talk I would literally pray twice a day man um, I would try to pray before I went to school if I couldn't pray before I went to school I'd pray on the way to school you know like I had my little um, what's it called I had, I had like a little FM transmitter because um, my, my car didn't have the my car at the time my Civic didn't have the cassette player Cause you get you know the little cassette player adapter whatever my my radio didn't have the cassette so you know what I'm saying I had a little FM transmitter where you could plug your the headphone jack yes the headphone jack but the iPhone still had the headphone jacks um, plug the headphone jack to FM transmitter you you put the radio station put the radio to a station where there was nothing playing at all you set the FM the FM transmitter to that same exact station and it it will play whatever was on your phone you know what I'm saying so I used to play like little I used to play like little um, I'm just calling it a little sus. My bad. I had to watch my back. That car was looking a little, you know what I'm saying? Next thing you know, a drive by happens. But, um, yeah, man. So I had to. Man, now it's my train of thought. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so I would literally play like the little meditation music, whatever, like my, the Calm app. Like I would use the Calm app um, back when the whole thing was free. There was no premium at the time. It was free. Um, I would literally play that, you know, on the way to school. And then I would do my second prayer at night, you know, when... Um, When I'm about before I go to bed, right before I go to bed, so I pray for like 15, 20 minutes. When I was on my way to school, it'd be like maybe five minutes because the school wasn't that far from my house. You know what I'm saying? So spiritually, I was really good there. 
um, you know, and with that, I was pushing positivity live. I don't know if y'all remember, um, those, those of who were in the time, y'all know, man, but like, I was pushing positivity, you know what I'm saying, like, even with everything happened at school, I would say, like, you know, always, always be positive, you know what I'm saying, like, if they try to talk to you, just talk to them, say, hey, smile at them, and just keep it moving, you know what I'm saying, just keep it moving, don't have any hatred in your heart, I push, I push that message all the time, you know what I'm saying, and, yeah, man, like, retention was good, you know, from February of that year to, like, uh, all the way till graduation, you know, I was, I think that was my longest streak, right, 113 days, yeah, so everything was good there, man, physically, I was working out consistently, so, that was my biggest change, I wish I still had pictures from, uh, after, I had pictures from before, when I was, like, super skinny, um, but after that, man, my chest got bigger, you know what I'm saying, my arms got a little bigger, um, nothing crazy with the arms, but they got bigger and stuff like that. I made changes. Um, you know, and it's like, I was on my peak at that point, you know, because I had to, I had to do it for my mom, you know what I'm saying? I had to stand, I had to be strong for her, strong for myself, stuff like that, man. Um, yeah, man. But, now nah, man it's like my mindset before i got back on to, to dating stuff like that my mindset was i was gonna do this for god do this for myself and also i'm gonna do it for my future wife and family right but in my head it's like getting back to dating and seeing all this rejections and time wasted attention seekers wrong people stuff like that it's like in my head it was like literally man god doesn't want me to have anybody you know and it's like why am i what am i pushing for, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to um, working out and being celibate and things like that, you know what I'm saying, and by celibate, I mean retention, obviously I'm not gonna do the deed with anybody until I'm married, but like, I'm talking about retention and stuff like that, you know, it's like, what am I, you know what I'm saying, what am I, what am I doing it for, you know, like, that's that's where my my head was at, man. Still is to this to this point. You know what I'm saying I'm just kind of venting right now. Um, but yeah, it's like yeah, you know. It's like it, it just it just feels like And I know it just it sounds dumb, man. But I just feel like, I mean, I'm like, yo, does God want me to have somebody in my life? <laughs> you know? And, and sometimes it feels discouraging, you know? But, and even with all this in my head, I'm just like, I'm just going to take it day by day. Like, I'm going to, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to stay off my phone, which I did the past day. Um... You know, watch Christian content only. Besides what I'm eating, I've do, I've been doing that. You know, what I'm saying it's, it's been helping me have a clear mind and stuff like that. You know, and just taking it day by day, and just even though like in my head where I'm like, why am I doing this for? Why am I doing this for? I'm doing this for. I'm just I'm just going. You know I'm saying I'm just going and and letting God slowly show me. I guess I guess show me the right way or show me the reasoning and show me that things are moving and stuff like that as far as that department goes you know um it comes to relationships and things like that and just growth in general um and yeah man i know this video is kind of all over the place but this is giving me a quick update give me a little vent uh how i've been feeling stuff like that man so yeah um i can leave your thoughts in the comments down below um, Y'all know I read every comment, respond to every comment, and uh, catch y'all next one. Brother Aaron out. Peace.